I know we talked a little bit about staining the model and um, yes, so I, you, you yeah, so what is this about? <laughs> that's a that's a box of um, drawing inks that I had at college. So that's about 30 years old. But any any I've only ever used, if you flick to the next slide, um, I've only used inks which um, are absorbed by the timber fairly quickly. Um, and I apply it, or in this instance, just apply it with the grain of the timber. Um, and it, it's absorbed by the timber. So unlike paint, it doesn't fill in all the detail. Um, and I think I've lightly, yeah, and that one, I think I lightly sanded that one. Um, and it gives, I think it gives a more, obviously not in bright pink or green, but I think you could get a far subtler effect probably with that um, than painting. But if you were going to paint them, I'd, I'd dry brush paint them as opposed to um, having having liquid paint. So so get your brush fairly dry, dip it in the paint, and dry, and then brush that onto your timber because you don't mm -hmm. want you don't want your timber to distort. Which if you apply a lot of moisture to it, it'll absorb it and it it'll um, it'll go a bit bendy possibly. But again, just put it under a book or something and let it dry out. Um, mm. and then go from there. And when I, when I assemble the models, I typically, I bandage, I, I call it bandage, bandaging them up. So I would use masking tape along all the joints that I glue. Um, mm. And I, I, you know, I, I strap them pretty tightly. Um, mm -hmm. That stops any kind of movement. 